Howdy partners, it's your boy John here, and welcome back to Pokemon X, the Ice Type Mono Playthrough, where last time we left off. Wait, hold on. There we go. <laughs> where last time we left off, uh, we earned our last badge. Right? We, we got the um the badge here in um Snowbell City? Snowbell City, yes. So from here, really the only thing left to do is head towards Victory Road. I'm going to try to get some training in before I actually reach the Elite Four. Um, but we should be just about ready here. Oh, anything in here? I keep thinking that there's something I've missed in one of these. I don't, I don't think you have anything. Alright. Oh wait, who's up front? January's up front. All right, so we need to get some levels on January. Frigidaire, Aurora could use some with some levels. Um, Borealis, maybe a couple. Um, I think Tundra and Yule are actually... They're, they're going to be decent level right now to help with the Elite Four. So I'm not too worried about them. It's January, um, Frigidaire, and... Aurora, I think is really... Yeah, that's going to be about it. Let's switch over and get, get uh, Frigidaire up front. He's the one that's the farthest behind at the moment. Hello? I've been with my Pokemon partners since the very beginning of my journey. That's a weird lag. I don't know if I should call it lag spikes. Hold on. Let's see if that fixes it. We'll see if that fixes it. I have a cord running into a 3DS, which is how I'm like recording this, and that might be what the problem is. You were challenged by Ace Trainer Muriel. Sableye. Ooh, Frigidaire might not be the best choice for this. We'll see. That's not gonna do it. I don't know why. I, where did I pick that? That did a decent amount of damage. Never mind. Uh, Electro Ball. Blizzard's not going to do anything to him. Foul play. Uh, let's pull Frigidaire out so he can try to get some levels without fainting. That might be a KO. Oh, he barely hangs on. Okay. We're going to switch over into... Uh, January. Probably this is not going to be the option here for us. Um, I'm going to go with Borealis. I'll play. Rock Tomb should be fairly effective against him. Uh, the Rock Tomb, I think. That's going to be a knockout on... Okay. Um, every confu... Every, every move, he's been hurt by the confusion. <clears throat> We're going to go with Aurora. Try a Hydro Pump. Um, that might... Do it. Yes, okay. What else you got? Crustle. Keep battling. Uh, 
Uh, bug rock. I'm gonna hit it with a surf. Ice, ice beam, yeah. Ice beam might be enough. <sighs> She's turning out to be a little tougher than I thought. It might be because this team isn't exactly the best for dealing with some of the stuff she's put out so far. Uh, bite. Alright, we need to run back and heal the team up real quick. Okay. How do I get back there? I'm trying to remember how to get back there. Uh, looks like we have a double battle here. I think we want to stick with Frigidaire and... Yeah, we'll stick with Frigidaire in January up front. We'll see how this goes. Strong Pokemon and a strong trainer come together to form a strong team. It's that simple. Once you've memorized all the Pokemon moves and abilities, victory just comes naturally. Alright, what do you got? Uh, you just got two. Okay. Quillord and Vileplume. I think we I think we picked the right setup here. Yeah, this 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 should be the, the perfect setup for this. So uh, Electro Ball into Whalelord. And we'll hit um, a blizzard on Vile Plum. Well, that might. Yeah, what we'll do? Yeah, Ice Beam. It could have hurt the um, the Whale Lord if I if I used Blizzard, but I, for some reason I I get this feeling like uh, Whale Lord. It might have that ability that heals itself when it's uh, hit by an ice attack. Uh, amnesia, which really doesn't matter now because we're, we're about to knock him out here in the next move anyway. Uh, Thunderbolt into Whale Lord. And bite. It's this level on Frigidaire. I might get one on to um, January too. Nope, just short. All right. Come down here. Can you just come down here? There we go. What about you? Feels like I'm missing something before I can take on Victor Road. Let me battle you and find out what it is. Got one? Chandelier. Bridger might not be the best choice here. Go with a hex. Flamethrower, that could be pretty effective. Yes. Alright, we're gonna go over into Aurora. Um Surf, yeah. It should be I don't know, he's gonna use a confuse ray. Hopefully I can get this off. Of course not. Why would I get it off? Try it again. Why? Why is the all the confusions this this episode? They're just like being super effective. Like every time, I'm affected by it. There we go. 
That might not knock him out, though. There we go. Yeah, level on Aurora. I did not mean... Okay, well... Nursering. Can't really use you. So, I'm gonna run. I just realized I don't have... Oh, I don't think I have anything that can use strength, which is what I'm going to need here in a minute. I don't have anything that can cut that either. Alright, so we're going to have to just head back. Ah. After I beat the Elite Four, I'm planning on going back through and doing some exploring, trying to get some more ice Pokemon. My ultimate goal is to end the series when I catch Articuno, which is available in the game. Um... So, we're still got a ways to go before we actually finish the game. Even after we beat the Elite Four. Alright. I know I just passed the uh, Victory Road, but I want to go do something real quick. I think I beat everybody down here, didn't I? Yes, okay. Oh. Oh. Little side up. I might not be able to get the whole victory road in today. I think I'm gonna go change my outfit and heal up the team. Let me stop there at the store next door and see if there's anything new. I don't think there is, but worth checking. I could probably t change out of the uh, the winter outfit that I have on now. But uh, let's take a look next door. Uh, we've got, we got that one, eh? Yeah. Do we have that? Hmm. Something a little different, we'll go with that. I think it's an alright outfit. We'll go with that. Oh, this way. Right, okay, here we go. Um, screenshot? Screenshot! Screenshot, okay, there we go. The gate is the entrance to the Victory Road. Only Pokemon trainers who've collected all eight badges may pass. Your total number of badges is one, two, three, four. Wow, you have all eight. Well then, allow me to test your abilities. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Carbink. Ooh, I have uh, the wrong choice up front. <laughs> uh, Frigidaire, we're going to switch out of you. And we're going to go over into Aurora. Yeah, Aurora.
Stealth Rock. Uh, clear it out of the way with a Hydro Pump. Not quite enough. Surf. Clears the first one out. Right you. Uh, yeah, let's actually go into Tundra. Haven't seen him in a bit. And he's actually getting close to getting the next level. Oh, I forgot about the <laughs> forgot about the stealth rock. Yeah, that's alright. Grass knot. I forgot that right you can learn grass knot. Okay. Uh, quick attack. All right, what's next? Where else could a level four, uh, 59? Kingdra. Um, so either I go into Frigid Air or Yule. I think I want to go with Frigid Air though, to be honest. He's the one that really needs levels right now. Him and January are, are getting really far behind, so. And again, I forgot about the uh, Stealth Rock. Uh, let's hit him with an Electro Ball. Dragon Pulse. I didn't do too much. All right. Just so he doesn't faint, and he can get some points. I'm going to lead off into Yule. See if Yule can just finish him off real quick. Uh, of course, the Stealth Rock, and I keep forgetting about it, but you know what? It's not too bad. Snow Warning. Uh, Cedra is a Water Dragon, so I... Did they say Cedra? Kingdra. So ice should be effective against him. Plus the um, do we want to go with a? Let's go with the mega evolution. Sure, why not? We haven't done that in a while. Flash cannon. I get a knockout with the wood hammer. Yes. Okay. Don't faint. Okay. You'll grow level 65. So we got a level for him and nobody else. Oh, we're going to go heal up real quick and then come back and officially start our way up the route. Uh, before I actually reach the Elite Four, I want to need to probably, well, once I get to the Elite Four, but before I actually go and face them, I'm probably going to need to go do some uh, looking around, get some, um, bunch of revives, uh, oh, I don't remember the, um, I never had trouble with the Kalos Elite Four. They were kind I always thought they were kind of easy myself, but I don't know if it's going to be different with me using this, uh, monotype team. Uh, they do have a fire type trainer, but I think I can handle him with um, Aurora and Tundra. Um, see, there's a there's a water type, a dragon type, a steel type, and a fire type. The dragon type, no problem. I'm pretty sure I can handle him. Water type might not be too bad. The ones I'm worried about most are the steel type and the fire type. Um, I've been working. I've actually been working on ideas in my head on how best to deal with them. Um, I think I've got something worked up in my mind, but, um, you know, <laughs> best to go unprepared with a bunch of, uh, 
revives and stuff. So once we reach the Elite Four up there, we're going to have to probably take a step back, go looking for some revives and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so PP ups won't, probably won't be that bad. Ethers. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, you know what? This is an even better screenshot. Here we are. Victory Road, finally. <laughs> uh, anyway, how long are we recording? No, I think I can go a little bit longer. We'll go a little bit longer. We will go a little bit longer. I was thinking it was a little later than it actually was. Um, oh. And immediately we, we walk into something. There's a lot of dragons in here. It'd be perfect training. Um, so... Why not try to milk some of this out? Uh, hit it with a blizzard. It is a dragon, so it should be super effective. There it goes. Hello. I just want to spend time with my Pokemon, but everyone just keeps challenging me to battles. I ran all the way here, but and yet I still can't find any peace and quiet. Alright, what do you got? A Weavile. That could be a difficult one. Ice Dark. Um, Hex. Night Slash could be a problem. Not, not too bad, not too bad. I don't know why I went with Hex. I should have known that doesn't really do much to this. Uh, I'm really thinking my best bet is Electro Ball if, if I stick with Frigidaire. If he doesn't faint. I'm going to pull him out. Yeah, let's pull him out after this. Hmm. Borealis might be a good option. We'll go with Borealis. And a rock tomb. Low kick could be a problem. Yes, it is. If I had gotten that rock tomb off, I, I think I could have dealt with him, but. Uh, I do you want to cheese this up and go straight into Tundra? Alright, we're going to go in with Tundra. Hit him with a return. Kind of cheesy, but. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> For sure, I got a new level. Now, there is a bit of a problem, I've just noticed. Uh, we're going to have to look and put in some HMs or... Um, what am I saying? So moves on to some of our team members so we can deal with some of these um, rocks and stuff. Because we'll need strength for that. Uh, let me just take a quick look here. We want to find one that... Let's see here. That's strength. Um, let's figure out who can actually use these things, though. Because I don't want to take uh, something away from a team room that they can actually really use. Um, uh, okay, well, 
I do have Ice Beam, and I know that three of the team members have that. So putting strength on to January right now is not a bad idea. Uh, but I'll probably wait until I actually get to a spot where I need it. So we'll leave that alone for now. Get off the bike. It's just making things more difficult. I had rock smash. No, well, I need to worry about that right now. I can just come around that way. What am I doing? I'm just wasting time at this point. Uh, another dragon. Blizzard? Or the attack? I'll try it again. Never mind. I do have actually quite a few. I have ethers, I have some PP up, so I, I'm good there. Um, it's the potions I'm going to need to look into getting once we get it up there. I do have a rare candy. Should, should we pop that? I'm going to hold on to that for now. That was kind of a waste there, but I don't care. Alright, what do you got? I'll make this the last one. Hmm, you look like a <clears throat> you look like you'd be a good opponent for my Steelix to gain some experience. Alright, uh, Steelix, I don't really... Get me off of Steelix. Best bet for Steelix, I think, on the team right now would be... Tundra. We're gonna switch... Oop. We're gonna switch over into Tundra. An Earthquake, I think, should do plenty against him. Iron Tail. Should get us a knockout. Yes, it did. Okay. Kangaskhan. I'm gonna switch. Uh, Fridge there. And a hex, I think. Doesn't affect them. Does go? Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm getting all my typings mixed up here. Uh, outrage. One more of those and we'll probably be dead. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to live another one of those. Let's get off the Electro Ball, see how that does, and then we'll pull. I'm going to go into Yule. Get off that snow warning. He's confused now. Pop off that in grain. We haven't used it in grain in a while. I, I have, for some reason, I have a feeling that it'll be useful in this battle. Um.
Razor Leaf. Not quite the knockout. One more. All right, what's next? Electrode. I can't pull out anyway because we have um, ingrain out, so. And with a wood hammer, I think. Yeah, there we go. I'm expecting to get a lot of use out of Woodhammer when we get to the uh, Elite Four. Um, mainly, I think the whole reason we were sticking with um, Yule, really the only thing he's going to do as any good against is the Water-type trainer. Might come in handy against the Dragon, but against the Steel and the um, Fire, there's not going to be much help for us. Um, when we get there, I'll go over my plan, but... I'm really holding on to Yule mainly because he's become kind of like the team mascot, and <laughs> uh, I think he'll actually be useful against two of the gym leaders, or two of the trainers. I could have, could have come up here like this. There's nothing here. Anyway, partners, we're going to go ahead and uh, call this here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. Much appreciated. It really helps me out. And I will see you, partners, next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.